GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 Stable Branch series. So, we built this little junk box. I mean, it's not bad. It can Now that it's got uh, an RCS on it and thrusters out the back, it can actually move along pretty good, but it can't it can't really go backwards at all. It it's too heavy for the thrusters, so it actually it just it just rides inches above the ground. So it doesn't have much ground clearance. It still boogies along nicely, like, but it 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 bottoms out constantly. Um, I was buzzing around looking for resources, and because I want to get in a different vehicle, because this one's not. This one's good for starting right now, but I need I need to get in something better. Uh, I need a lot more copper. <clears throat> I was able to get a bunch of silicone and, and uh, iron, and it, that's all back at the base. But so you'll notice there is a turret structure right there. We are in Polaris territory, and you'll also notice that the Polaris signal is green for me. That means I'm friendly with them. That's because I came in here. I noticed that they had a whole bunch of Prometheum, and I was like, oh, I kind of want that. And there's just spiders everywhere. So I started killing spiders, and I realized, holy crap, I'm getting lots of faction for these guys. It, it should be easy enough to grind faction. Uh, and it was. It only took a couple minutes. Boom, I was friendly. So it's well worth doing it. And now, now that I'm friendly, I went and looked it up. I can go mine all that stuff without a faction hit. I can't do anything else, really, but <laughs> I can go mine it without a faction hit. But let's just go explore a little bit. This is pretty cool. So that, that looks very polaris doesn't it? <laughs> if that's a term, I guess it is now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So these, there's, there's spiders all over the place. So it's really easy to grind faction in this, in this spic specific spot. Um, so this is just a mining station. It's not gonna. I mean, there'll be a furnace in there. I guess we might be able to use. I don't know if we need to go check it out. It's, it's just, we can't loot anything. We could, if there's traders in there, we could trade with them though. So I guess there's that. But, but, uh, I mean, you know, we're friendly. What the heck? Let's, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. Keep my drill in my hand. I can't hurt anything with my drill. Or actually, let's just not have anything in my hands. And, oh, I can't get in anyway. Huh. Really? I can't even target it. Okay. So it's just for looks, I guess, or if you destroy it, there's probably lots of loot. It's probably all just like a big cargo. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. They've got windows. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. There's some Beko in there. I don't know. Hey, 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 buddy. Things can path over everything now. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, you're, you're not safe. Put it that way. You are not safe. Uh, although walls will still stop them if they're high enough. They can't jump over walls. Okay, so that looks like just defenses... So it's a really good idea now to not become uh, unfriendly or hostile with the Polaris, especially because they have some pretty nasty defenses around their stuff now. Uh, I haven't got to see the, the Xerox stuff yet, but pretty cool. Let's check this out. What's this? is a 
Z I don't know. Okay, so it's got a ramp. It's got a ramp. I should be able to do the ramp. Oh, come on! <laughs> See, I've got no... Oh my goodness, I heard a Xerox. I thought they were supposed to fix that. Sounds like a Xerox spawn inside there, didn't it? Huh. Okay, well... <laughs> Let's not... I'm not really sure if we're supposed to go in there then. Is it like a prisoner or something? Okay, so there's a door there. The only problem is if I damage anything, I, I instantly go to like... Um, neutral or something like that. So it's like, ah, uh, I don't really want to chance it, do I? Oh yeah, I hear, I hear Xerox in there. That's not right. That shouldn't be right. We're on Polaris territory. That's, so that's a bug. Wow, look at all the spiders. Holy crap. So I'll show you the spider AI now is really weird. It lets you just shoot them and they slowly crawl towards you. And the whole pack will slowly crawl towards you and let you kill them. Oh. oh, see? Here they come. They just slowly crawl towards you. Now, when you're on foot, they come at you a lot faster. Oh, and what do we got? That something just got spiders spiders everywhere and you can see our Polaris faction is just flying up let's take a look at that really quick uh, wow we're already a third of the way to whatever it is I guess honored I don't know if that I don't I think honored just gives us a discount at the uh, traders I don't think it allows you to loot them or anything like that. So it's not... I mean, sure, a discount at the trader. Okay. Uh, I think, personally, if you're honored, you should have exclusive rights to a new trader, maybe like an epic weapons trader that's just Polaris-flavored only. I don't know, some unique stuff that's Polaris-flavored. You know, faction equipment, right? And you got to be honored to be able to buy it, or maybe, maybe friendly. I don't know. Well, friendly just to do regular um, traders, I think, uh, or maybe honored. Yeah, honored to get to get a faction vendor access. Okay, so that's a. <sighs> trying to get rid of them all before I jump out to collect the meat, but as you can see, there is a ton of spiders around. Come on. And I can't really do... I, I'm... The hover thrusters on this thing don't really let me go up and down that much because I'm so close to the ground. <clears throat> okay, so let's, let's go out and see if we can actually loot these things before they vanish. So for a while there, I was looting some spiders, and I wasn't getting any meat at all. And it was, and same with the, um, same with those cricket bugs. I wasn't getting any meat off them at all. It was just the alien parts. And, and so I logged off, logged back in, and it seems to be okay again. I'm getting meat again. I don't know if that's just coincidental or whatever it is, but okay, let's put this in the fridge. Getting a good supply of meat going now. Uh, okay, so how's our faction standing? We are halfway to honored. Well, that's fine. So what I'm going to do now, I was just, I was wanting to go get the Prometheum, right? Because we want, um, I need copper though. I need. I really need copper. Desperately need copper. Look for spiders. And dinosaurs. 
specifically rafters. No, we're okay. Okay. So this, I'll sh this is probably one of these crappy. Yeah, let's spawn our drone. Here, tab in, tab out. Let's grab our. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, this one. Look at all the nuggets. Holy crap. I made a ore scanner, by the way. That's why I can see these. Wow. Okay, score. So we're we're friendly with them. So technically we should be able to. And and actually, if you look at if you look here, it even says it when you when you hover over their faction, it says mine or player's territory is minus 25. None if friendly or better. Okay, so I'm friendly, so I shouldn't get dinged here. So if we get dinged, that means it's not working. They were supposed to squash a whole bunch of bugs with this last hotfix, so we'll see. We'll see. I just, I'll just i mine this one chunk just to see if we lose faction. And no, I didn't see any faction loss. Okay, excellent. I'm going to keep mining. Uh, oh, wow, my drill is almost broken. What? What do I have in the way of stuff in the not fridge? Can I make another drill? Let's make another drill really quick, I think. <laughs> Just in case, right? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. We got another drill. Okay. And do we got logs? Do we got how much... Ooh, I am out of biofuel. Really? Okay, well, that's easy enough to get because I can just go chop a tree down now, which I'm going to have to do because <laughs> I got no biofuel. So, okay, let's just wander over here. Go like this. So, I'm not getting a faction kit anymore. Or I, I would have been if I was not friendly. So keep that in mind. Okay, I don't need I don't need too much wood. I don't need too much. It's just gonna weigh us down. Okay, so let's get the biofuel going. Well, see, I love I love how it's just autom I'm tied into my ore and wood cargo container for my mobile constructor input. It's just awesome. I love it because I don't need to do any. I just go in and start up biofuel. And I can spit that out wherever I want to into another container or whatever. But right now, this is fine. I'll just put it into here. Uh, that's because this one actually holds a ton. Anyway, let's get this going. What do we got here? We've got 23. Let's just, let's just get like 20 going. Uh, it eats up power though using the constructor, so I try to avoid it, but we're, we're not going to be able to here. That's fine. I'm going to keep mining, and I will come back and grab you guys once I'm done. Well, this is interesting. I was just heading home because I'm full of Prometheum, and we've got some floating clump of vegetation but it's like not just one tree it's like a whole bunch of stop that camera it's like a whole bunch of stuff and like rocks and stuff and it's bizarre it is bizarre I've never seen I mean obviously it's some sort of bug or glitch but what the heck a couple of trees there's bushes in there <laughs> It's all floating. I thought it was a POI at first, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a glitched out piece of vegetation. So interesting. So that's right across from our uh, camp here. Our base now, it's not a camp. 
Although it's not a powered base, so technically it would be a camp, really. It's just a... It's an unpowered... shed. Okay. So we gotta dump this stuff off. Um... Also, okay, so let's just settle down here. And we can turn the engines off. Let's manage that. Oh, we can do it with... Yeah, we don't need to waste the biofuel in there. We've got tons of... Tons of stuff. So let's go into the Wi-Fi. We'll just transfer this over really quick here. Oh, crap. No, we won't. Look at that. It, the base is full. Okay. Uh, do we have enough to make another large cargo box? We can grab a little bit of that. That should do it. Okay, so let's, let's make a... Oh, wait. Can it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think we can do it. We could output to one or the other. You know what? We'll just output to cargo one for now. Uh, we need a base cargo container. That's SV. HV only. SV, HV only. So we got to do one of these ones again, the cargo boxes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's throw another one of those down. It obviously needs it. Okay, so how heavy is that? That is 250 SU. We can actually put that right on our... Um... Hang on. Hang on. Let's do this. Go into... Here, go like this. We can just do a quick connect to it. That way, we can just throw it here, and we'll launch our drone, and we'll just stick it in here on top of this one. But we're gonna do another large one, or medium one, I should say. They call it medium. Okay, so there we go. We've got uh, another one in place. So we should now be able to go from here over to the new one, medium one. There we go. So, huh. Okay, let's put all the construction type material in medium one so let's do base medium and we can just go like this transfer the construction stuff over that way it's easier to find anything that can be put in the constructor okay Let's just, we can fuel up the, um, oh, actually, I can do that from here. I can go hover vessel, fuel, and literally just go like that now. And exceeding capacity. Okay, I can't put too much in there. 300, so it's not quite, oh, yeah, we don't have 300 space for 300. Okay, so you can see how easy it is now to fuel up different like you can if you had multiple vehicles as long as they're all wi-fi enabled or at least within wi-fi range you can easily fuel them up from one container now without actually having to put it on your so you could have like a stack of fusion cells in a massive cargo container and fuel up all your vehicles really easy just by dun 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 so so it's it it is going to be a better system people just got to get used to it uh, so there we go. We should have now lots of space. 
Uh, well, that was hover. Okay, so now we can go hover vessel, cargo and wood. So that's all empty now. That's fine. Ammo. Okay. There should be nothing else in these. Yep. Okay. So uh, let's let's actually eat something here. And from these interfaces, you can actually do actionable things on the items. So you can, I'm shift right clicking on it to eat it. So it's handy. Um, and I believe if I shift left clicked, it would move it over to the other thing. Yep. So excellent. I think what we need to do is actually grind Talon Rep because they got all the copper. If you look at their map, they got all the copper. They got four out of 12 that I've uncovered. I need that copper. I don't have, I, I got squat copper unless the Polaris over here have it, but. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I guess we could go check. You know what? Let's go into there. We'll we'll explore into there and see what we can find. Let's do that. Let's do that and we'll call it an episode. So let's reconnect to our hover vessel, uh, the ore and wood. And then player inventory. There we go. And controller ore and wood. That's what we want. We'll switch to here, and oops, that doesn't stay when you change the, okay, that's fine. So, we don't have a lot of ammo with us, but it should be enough to probably get us to friendly, and then we can mine. Ugh, this thing's just so heinous. Oh, you know why? Because I've got it all turned off. That's funny how it was still moving. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> we'll get an RCS and thrusters again. So that was just the um, that was just the hover thrusters. So that's all that's left in them because of the weight of this. Um, okay, well... Let's go into here and head into that Polaris territory. See if there's any copper in there. If there is, then we can just mine that and then we're golden. Then we can get our other vehicle up and running and go on to the next part of the, um, the mission the solo mission, the storyline, and try and get that completed. Because I don't want to go there in this vehicle because it's like, I can't do it. I can't take on drones in this thing. I don't have the, I don't have the steering capacity and you can see it just, it bottoms out every little bump. It, oh my. And it has no, it can't keep itself upright. It's just not powerful enough. If it starts tipping over, I can't, I can't like Q and E to prevent it at all while it's flying. It's, it's really bad. So, and even O is really, it's just, it, it's so weak. I need to get rid of it. <laughs> hey, but it, it's been, it's been great for a starter because it's given us range it's given us climate control and it's given us storage capacity uh, plus some some weaponry i mean the um the mini guns are still useful on it because i i added i added the rcs so i could kind of aim <laughs> with it okay oof you can see every bump we bought them out boom wow that was a harsh one <laughs> We can't prevent it from bottoming out. Oh, I should have made a 
I should have made a um, a multi-tool and some charges. Oh well, next time, next time we go back to base. We, we're just going on a mining expedition. We want copper. That's what our goal is. I mean, I could stop and get all the little copper chunks on the way because there's a whole bunch, and I might have to do that if the Polaris. If this section of the, cause, oh man, this is just brutal. This thing sucks. <laughs> These hover thrusters just are not, they're not usable once you put weight on this thing. Just, yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. I'm trying to get over there. Oh my. <laughs> hey, right on, did a full roll. Okay, um. The, the problem is, is if this thing flips on its back, it's like a turtle right now. I, I, I'll, I'll be lucky if I can get it to flip back over. It's just that bad. Come on, don't flip. You can see I'm struggling with this thing. I got to use the rear thrusters for all my directional control because the the hover thrusters just not capable of of going side to side at this point or backwards or anything. So it's just the two thrusters in the back basically propelling this thing. And that's why I got to steer it like a madman. And then thrust. I gotta oversteer thrust. Okay. Oh, 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 no, don't tip over. Don't tip over. Come on. Oh, and we're getting. We're in their territory. We're getting contact. Let's hope it's some deposits and not just POIs. POIs here. So those are just, huh, empty. I don't know what that is. Okay. Logistics hub. So there's a whole bunch of. Can I get up there to pop that? Can I get up there? Yep. Okay, good. Just didn't feel like a racing. Oh, spitty bug. Okay, so I. For some reason, I was getting minus talon when I was shooting these. I. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Let's see if it... No, it didn't do anything. Okay. I didn't get any faction decrease or increase by the look of it. Okay, what do we get off these spitty bugs? The usual. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Uh, well, let's go in and see what sort of, see what they got here. Logistics hub. A gas refinery. You know, spiders everywhere. No. There's more stuff over here. Promethium. Okay. Uh, I'd, I'd like copper. I mean, the Prometheum is nice, but, that pr you know, yeah, silicone, no, more Prometheum, no. That's all I seem to be get, getting, yeah, silicone and Prometheum. Okay, so, that's weird. So, I'm thinking it's like a faction-specific type of ore, too, now, because I seem to be get it, getting all copper and silicone from the Talon. And silicone and promethium from the Polaris areas. I mean, I, I'm not sure is that. I haven't looked at the YAML, but you can see copper, a little bit of both really, because there was villages, I think. And then to silicone, promethium. Silicone, promethium, there was one iron. Okay, so let's keep. We there might be copper. I don't know. Let's let's keep checking it out. Let's keep checking it out. I don't get any more radar hits though. That's kind of crappy. 
that kind of sucks. That we, means we might not. So do you guys recognize this stuff from before? This used to be all the civilian POIs that were that we could all loot before, right? So, so now we can't. These are Polaris um, towns, so to speak, settlements, colonies, and we can trade. We can go in and and trade with the traders but at this point at this point we just uh, we just need copper <laughs> we need copper where's that the copper it's right look at all this copper right here okay you know what you know what that's what I'm gonna do then that the copper is massive around here as stones I'm just gonna go around and and mine it as rocks uh, next episode, I'll have enough copper to bring in the other HV. I'm gonna I'm gonna multi-tool this one down, uh, put it all into this to the factory. So that is this one here, which I'm gonna bring in. Um, and I don't think I have this publicly published yet. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. No, I do not. You know what? I'll publish that for you guys. There you go. So that's my... Uh, that's the one that has 16,000... It says liters because it was liters before, but it's storage units. And it's got three turrets. It's got a couple of guns. It's got a decent amount of... Um, well, 16,000 storage units. And it's got a decent amount of um, ammo space. I think about... It can hold about 5,000 rounds, I think. Which is, which is good enough. Uh, okay, so... I'm going to leave the episode off here. It was a bit of a faction grind day, checking out the faction stuff, trying to get copper, which, you know, I'm just going to have to hand bomb it by the look of it. So that's fine. Well, next episode, we're going to have, we're going to spawn in a much better HV, and then we're going to go check out the unidentified vessel and continue on with the storyline. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day.